What is up, everybody? How's it going? Austin Practical, Practical of a Performance, coming at you live. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. New week full of new opportunities. Hope you're having a good day so far. As you are tuning in, let me know how your day is going. Feel free to give this video a like. Helps other people see it in the algorithm. But I'm going to keep this short, sweet, and brief uh, because I don't really have a whole lot uh, to really necessarily talk about today in terms of this topic. But for me, uh, I don't know if you guys saw my post or not, but if you did, that's awesome. Um, but earlier today, I made a uh, post basically calling myself out in a sense and committing to no booze for 30 days. Um, I'm not somebody who is like, you know, like if you drink alcohol, you're bad or anything. Because obviously, like I have enjoyed it from time to time. And I do believe that when moderation is taken into consideration, you can still reach your goals and have, you know, have an awesome physique and, and, you know, lose weight and, and build muscle and all that. Like you can do all those things, um, you know, when it comes to your fitness goals, but it does make it a lot harder. Um, it can make it a lot harder, especially if you don't just have one drink or you don't just have two drinks. Uh, you know, you can, you can, it, it can be a slippery slope in a sense, if you're trying to be really dialed in, if you're trying to be really, uh, disciplined, um, when it comes to either weight loss or, or, you know, you're trying to build muscle or get healthier and things like that. And like, everybody knows like booze isn't good for you, right? Like everybody knows it's, 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 it's literally, you're putting poison into your body and it, you know, it's just a poison that our bodies can handle, uh, to an extent. Um, and so for me, uh, you know, I wanted to make the commitment to not, you know, drink for the next 30 days. Um, uh, because for me, like, you know, I've always, I mean, you know, there's always been, alcohol has always been kind of a part of my life since I was like a teenager. You know, I started, I, you know, if, if you're watching this Finn, you know, be uh, 20 years from now, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I started, I had my first drink when I was, you know, probably 14. Um, and it's one of those things that, you know, it was never real. It was more, it's just always been like a social thing for me. Uh, and it's always been something that, you know, definitely in college, uh, definitely in college. It was one of those things that, um, I partook in quite a lot. Uh, and it's one of those things that, uh, you know, once quarantine hit, uh, once quarantine ended up happening, um, with like the pandemic and everything, I, uh, I didn't drink for like eight or 10 months, like straight. I think I like, honestly, I think I might have maybe, maybe out of that entire span of time, I drank twice max and I only had a couple drinks and I felt like shit the next day afterwards. And so, um, you know, and I felt really awesome when I was doing that. Uh, and then, you know, whenever I started and just to kind of, again, call myself out and be authentic with this stuff, whenever I quit smoking weed back in, um, April, whenever I was trying to quit smoking weed, uh, I ended up, you know, it was summertime, uh, and to, you know, try and get out of the habit of smoking, uh, I ended up, you know, starting to drink, uh, because it was summer. Uh, it was something that was like, like, okay, well, I'm not doing weed right now. Like, you know, I'm going to have a, you know, a cocktail at the end of the day to take the edge off or whatever. Um, and it was fine. And, you know, I, I, I honestly, whenever I do drink, I, I'm very, you know, for the most part controlled with it. I don't really have an addiction to booze or anything like that. Thankfully, um, it's never been something that's really grabbed onto me. Um, but, uh, you know, since that happened, you know, definitely, uh, increased my, you know, consumption of booze during the summer, you know, hanging out, uh, hanging out with friends, going out and celebrating, um, you know, the, uh, bachelor party I went to my, uh, wedding and things like that. You know, I was in my mind, I was like, okay, I'm preparing. So that way I can like enjoy and celebrate and go on my honeymoon and have a good time and things like that. But, uh, in doing so, you know, kind of created and recreated that habit again in my life of enjoying drinks here and there. Um, and you know, it's one of those things like I never feel good the next day uh, after having a drink. I never feel like like my best self uh, because whenever you drink, uh, just for those of you that don't know this, your uh, REM sleep gets fucked up. It can mess up the quality of the sleep that you get. So that's oftentimes why we feel so crappy uh, the next day after we've had even just a couple of drinks. Um, and for me, it's one of those things that you know I'm on a cut right now and I'm trying to lose weight and I'm trying to get down to... Uh, I've been talking about, you know, I want, I want to get abs for Christmas just because, you know, that just sounds like something that I, if I can, if I can finish out a cut and, and lose weight with like the temptation of the holidays 
you know, around me, like I, you know, I'm going to feel unstoppable and like I can do anything. And so for me, in my mind, um, alcohol is just a big like deterrent and obstacle, uh, right now for me in terms of, you know, my goals with that. Um, and just as an example, uh, on Friday, you know, we went out and had fun. Uh, we went to a basketball game, had a good time. Uh, and, but you know, I, some, something ended up happening and I had one, I had, I had a couple, uh, too many, uh, and, and because of that, I felt like shit all Saturday. I felt like shit all Saturday. I still did my morning routine. I still did my morning routine. I still did everything whenever I got up. But like, you know, I felt like a freaking like, you know, I felt like a waste of space on Saturday. I felt like crap. Uh, you know, I felt like very, like, I felt like it threw me out of my momentum. Like, like, like terribly it threw me out of my, out of my momentum. And it was one of those things that I was like, man, like, you know, if I feel so freaking amazing uh, in life, when I'm not drinking or when I'm not consuming alcohol or whenever it's not like a part of, you know, my day to day, because uh, it's really, it's, it's not that much. So really, um, but you know, in that moment during this past Saturday, when I was, you know, I felt sick and I was, you know, hung over as shit and I felt like garbage. Um, I was like, why am I doing this? Like why, you know, what, how is this serving me? Uh, I think everybody kind of comes to a point in their life whenever there's something going on in their lives that, you know, they're just like, Hmm, like, this is not, like, serving me anymore. This is no longer, like, you know, and for you right now, that might be your weight loss journey. Or right now, that might be, you know, you're tired of, like, and not 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 the actual journey itself, but, like, you're tired of not making progress um, or you're tired of self-sabotaging or you're tired of setting yourself back um, because that's what it felt like for me or you're tired of, like, throwing yourself out of momentum because, like, for me, that's what it felt like. That's what it felt like this past Saturday. Whenever I was like hung over and felt like shit, I felt like a loser. Like, honestly, just to, just to be, be completely honest, I was like, I was like, what am I fucking doing? Like, you know, why, what, you know, why did I have more drinks than I had planned on? Right. And it's one of those things like whenever you drink, like your, your, uh, inhibitions get like a little bit skewed. Your, your, you know, decision-making gets impaired. Your, you know, what mattered to you earlier that day might not necessarily matter to you as much as it, as it does whenever you're drinking. Um, and for me, you know, I'm, I, I don't like that. I don't want that to be, um, you know, I don't want that to be something that throws me on my momentum because it really did. Uh, it really did. Like I, Saturday, I felt like shit. Um, and oftentimes too, especially if you're somebody who struggles with your mental health, um, you know, alcohol is, it's, it's a depressant. It's, it's not good for, for it's, it, it's good for the moment, but what you end up doing is you end up like you, you end up basically utilizing a shit ton of like GABA uh, GABA and like dopamine and, and what ends up happening is, is that you're like you're stealing like happiness from yourself for the next couple of days and that's what happened I, I felt I you know I was hung over on Saturday I felt like shit uh, and like you know it kind of created this like little m mini depression episode um, because of it and so I'm, I'm grateful that I don't feel that way now um, but Sunday I felt like crap too like I, I was not like you know I was not in a great headspace I, I wasn't you know I didn't feel good. I missed my workout on Saturday. I made it up on Sunday, but you know, it's one of those things that, you know, it's like, what is this, you know, how is this serving me? Right. Um, and is, is, are, are the, you gotta weigh the pros and cons sometimes. And for me right now, it's just like, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to say that I'm never going to drink again for the rest of my life. Like, you know, I, I, I don't like living in absolutes. Right. <laughs> I, I recognize that there are going to be moments in my life where I'm going to you know want to be able to partake and enjoy. But in my mind, if I can, you know, make it, until you know after i guess uh you know right a little bit before christmas um with no booze like you know i can accomplish anything and it's gonna help me reach my goals that much better because i'm gonna be dialed in on my nutrition i'm not gonna feel like shit um some days you know if i ended up you know going a little harder than i planned um and it's one of those things that you know and, and for me and i know myself you know probably better than most people than, than probably anybody um because i'm you know pretty you know i, I reflect a lot on on you know my, you know, life and, and, you know, why I do things and I kind of self audit a lot. And that's something that I feel like is really helpful, um, you know, for my mindset. But for me, you know, it's like, it, it's, um, I kind of lost my train of thought, but, um, for me though, it's like, you know, why, you know, why, you know, keep holding myself back, right? Like why, you know, why, you know, in, in, have something in my life that doesn't necessarily serve me right now. Um, and, and for me, it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's a no brainer to, you know, you know, nix the booze for now and just, you know, you know, have a, have a, you know, more productive, more like, you know, uh, I guess 
cl- not clarified, but more clarity and more like, you know, more um, direction right now in terms of what I'm going to grow and what I'm going to do. And, then, and like I said, like, you know, it's, it's not goodbye to booze forever or anything like that. It's just one of those things where it's like, I want to make it 30 days. And if I can make it 30 days um, for these next 30 days, especially during the holidays, like, you know, it's, you know, anytime you tell yourself no, when you want to do something, you're helping kind of break that habit uh, or you're trying or you're helping like, you know, reaffirm and strengthen you know, that, like that relationship with yourself in a sense, like, you know, being able to tell yourself, no, um, whether that be with food, right? Like bad food or food that, you know, doesn't, you know, fit within your nutrition right now, or whether that be, you know, every time, you know, if you're waking up, you're nervous, or you're like, you know, you don't feel like going to the gym or whatever. Every time you tell that voice, no, I'm going to go do it anyways. You're reaffirming and kind of like rewiring your brain a little bit to, to, you know, being, uh, you know, more likely to, to, to tell that, you know, voice or to tell that like habit that you've kind of formed, no, um, and, and, you know, breaking through it and doing what you need to do to reach your goals, because that's what I want to do. I'm tired of, you know, not necessarily, you know, I'm just tired of like losing that momentum. Cause, cause I, honestly, like if you've ever been in momentum, right. If you've ever been in momentum and, or, or you've been in a place of like, you know, a lot of like abundance or like, you know, feeling like, eh, you know, it, you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about here is like, if you're like, in that state of abundance and you just like, man, like everything's going right for me lately. Like I feel great. I, I, I'm, I feel like super lucky. I feel great. Like you're in abundance. You're in a, you're in a state of like momentum. Like, you know, you're rolling is, is like a good way of putting it. And whenever that's going on, you know, if you, if you, if you drink or you binge eat or you do whatever it may be, or you know what, like you fall off your diet, like you're, you're literally like, you know, you're basically that kid that's like riding on that bicycle meme, sticking a stick in his own tire and then blaming it on something else whenever you fall out of momentum. And, you know, it's one of those things that's like, I, I like to be very honest with myself and in, in the sense of like, you know, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm tired of, you know, throwing my momentum off. And so I think this is a good way to, 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 you know, prevent that from happening, especially during these holidays, because I want to reach my goals. I care about success. I care about greatness. And I want to reach those goals. Um, and if you're somebody right now who's, you know, wanting to stop, you know, stop drinking, uh, you know, in general, I'm not saying I'm going to be like, you know, an AA buddy or anything like that. Cause that's not what this is. This is just, you know, a challenge for myself. Um, and if you think you need that, I encourage you to, you know, explore that and to go get that help. But, um, you know, if you're somebody who wants to, you know, make a commitment to themselves to, to be disciplined, cause that's what I'm working on right now is just building that discipline and, and staying in that momentum. You know, I encourage you to join, uh, if you want to do it. Uh, if you're, if there's enough interest in it, I could see myself creating like a little group chat or something like that for it. I've already had a couple of people reach out to me since I, uh, uh, made that post, which is awesome. I'm excited to, for us to, you know, stay like committed to this and, and to hold each other accountable because it's one of those things like, you know, that's why I put it out there is cause like, I want to call myself out. I want to, uh, I want to succeed at this. And I know that I'm increasing my chances of success, like, you know, by even more, by just putting it out there, by speaking it into existence, by putting it out there. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, I, I, I sure as hell, I'm never going to be a a liar. So and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm going to do something and then not do it. Uh, because that's just, I'm, I'm not okay with that. And so, yeah. So if you're somebody who wants to join in on this, like by all means, please, uh, join in, um, by all means, uh, you know, if you, if you want to, you know, make this into, you know, uh, a habit or make it into like a fun challenge or something like that, um, by all means, like join in, uh, you're more than welcome to, um, this is just something that I want to do for myself and prove to myself. And if you're somebody who wants to prove something to yourself as well, um, you know, it, maybe not even booze, maybe you don't drink, maybe you're like, or maybe you do, and you, you don't want to give that up right now. And that's fine. Like that's, that's totally your choice. Um, I don't think it's bad that you aren't giving it up <laughs> or anything like that, but if there's something in your life right now that you're like, you know, I want to give, I, I want to be disciplined in this. I, I don't want to do this specific thing for the next 30 days. Like I encourage you, uh, to, to, you know, join in. Um, it doesn't have to be booze. It can be whatever you're wanting to, you know, be disciplined in not doing for the next 30 days or be disciplined in doing, um, you know, maybe that's committing to going on a walk each day, or maybe that's committed to tracking your food each day, or maybe that's committed to, you know, uh, giving up, you know, some other, uh, vice that you feel like you have right now, uh, going on, like whatever, maybe, or, or committing to reading a book or a page or like 10 pages a day out of a book or something like that. Like, but by all means, like, that's just, you know, what I, what I want this challenge to be for. And it's not really like a challenge officially, but it's just something that I'm doing for myself because like I said, I want to be my best self and I want to stay in momentum. I don't want to keep sabotaging myself. Um, and 
and yeah so that's all i got for you guys that's all i wanted to say um that's what i'm doing if you got value from this if you would like to join feel free to send me a message privately or comment in the chat and you know speak your uh goals into existence as well um and yeah so that's all i got for you guys today appreciate everybody for tuning in let me know your number one takeaway if you got any value from this feel free to like this video it helps other people see it i didn't really tag anybody in it today just because i you know i know people don't probably want like 30 days no booze popping up on their profiles or anything like that if you you know have it set up to where it just auto goes to your profile but <laughs> yeah other than that i appreciate everybody for watching uh and happy monday let's crush our goals uh and yeah if you guys uh see me anywhere or if you're a family or a friend or anything like that and uh, you offer me drinks. Uh, I'm I'm gonna tell you no. I don't drink. Sorry, I don't drink right now. And it's not nothing against you. Uh, it's just something that I am working on to be my best self. I hope that's cool. Um, other than that, though, guys, I appreciate everybody for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Peace, love, protein. I'll talk to you.